a half a dozen broccoli plants here and I can't they have been very very productive this is a variety called dia green dia green but there's lots of good kinds of broccoli but after you cut the central head you pick off the smaller heads we actually picked a whole bunch today and I left a couple just so you could see them there, oh look at this one that one would be delicious right down there is a great big head of another kind of broccoli but it's very different looking see that cute bugs Jumping spider. <laughs> this is a different variety of, of broccoli I don't know what it is but it's good but one year I learned that well I read it in the organic gardening magazines your broccoli plant let's say it produces in the early spring I mean in May and late June I mean early June and you get some wonderful broccoli but then let's say it starts to get aphids in it and I, I don't want to eat it when it's got aphids in it or it starts to get the worms on it I in the past have just let it go just let it grow and be a mess until about the first of August and then I go with my big loppers and I cut the whole thing down to about four or five big leaves okay here's Here's some broccoli plants that have gotten way out of hand. They're a mess. Uh, I whacked down the big flower stalks here, and there's aphids on them. So I'm going to come out with a hose and wash those aphids off. And you can prune them down even farther than that if you want. I almost need my loppers to do this, or pruners. But just get, you know, you can, um, if you do this, your plants will produce again in, in the late days of fall. In, but you just have to clean it up, get the dead leaves out of there, wash the aphids off, whatever the problem is. And then you can have a nice crop of fall broccoli from the same plants. You just want to be sure you leave a couple of leaves, you know, at least four or five leaves on the plant. Ooh, that is a mess. <laughs> Don't give up on your broccoli plants, even if they're buggy and a big mess during the summer. If, if you can just stand it until around the first of August or the middle of August, whack the whole thing down, but leave a couple of leaves maybe four or five leaves on, on each plant. See, the whole root system will be there. They'll regrow a new whole top very fast. And really, I don't need this many plants, but so just one or two of them. If you have chickens, this is good chicken food. They, they will produce eggs for you that are as brightly orange-colored yolks because of the deep greens they're getting. So the leaves will be all chewed up and ugly maybe half yellowed um, but the, the the place that you want to keep is the the axle of the leaf the growth point where new growth can come out on that plant <laughs> i could even whack this down farther so that i have four or five big leaves down here and if if the plant has in fact i think i will whack it down farther if the plant has four or five leaves, it will be able to grow new growth. And that new growth, if you've gotten all the aphids washed off, that new growth will be free of aphids and you'll have some good broccoli for fall.